Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and this is my 12 days of Christmas. And so I almost, I haven't been keeping up with this movie, if I'm being honest. I completely either forgot or wasn't aware that this movie was coming out. It's a film called Spirited. This is a 2022 film that was directed by Sean Anders. And I guess I do remember a few months ago, Ryan Reynolds posting on his social media, him and Will Ferrell making a movie together. But I think I just forgot about it. It was in one ear, out the other. And then this came out and I started to hear some reviews in good word of mouth. So I said, all right, let me watch this movie. I see that it's a musical. Which whenever I hear that a movie is a musical, I always stop, take a moment, and say to myself, am I prepared for this? Am I in the right mood for a musical? Because I, it's very easy for me to not be in the right mood for a musical, and it just does not go well. But overall, this movie, I didn't mind it. I actually had some fun with it. I did. Now, I'll be honest, the musical aspects of the movie did probably wear thin on me just a little bit. Again, if you're somebody that doesn't mind musicals or likes Christmas songs, you're probably going to be all about that mess. Uh, but for me, I just was like, oh, okay, we have another song here. Now, luckily, there was always another character that would also sort of self-referential say, are we going to sing right now? Or why are we singing? Or, oh God, no, don't sing. So that at least made me go, well, they know that some of us <laughs> might feel that way, but they would still do the whole musical number, so it's not like I didn't have to sit through it. But overall, the story, it's one of those stories that you have seen told a bunch of times as far as A Christmas Carol, uh, Scrooge, you know, that type of the ghost of Christmas past, present, future, having to accommodate one particular person who is so much of a piece of shit that we need to try everything that we can to turn their life around. And in this case, Ryan Reynolds is that piece of shit. And Ryan Reynolds, I really like Ryan Reynolds. He's obviously naturally charismatic and likable and funny, but he can also be an asshole. Like, he can uh, encompass that assholiness that somebody will need to portray for us to buy it. It's so weird that, like, sometimes an actor is too likable to be able to buy them as a bad guy or a bad person in another movie. But Ryan Reynolds... He did a couple things in this film that made me go, you're a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> like, honestly, and there's this whole thing of whether or not he's unredeemable, and I like that. Because this is a story that, like I said, we've seen a bunch of times, I did appreciate how they tried to make it unique. They tried to make it different as far as being more a part of the ghost, their inner workings, just how all of that background stuff for them at their warehouse and, and how they choose people and how they go about it i appreciated that will ferrell another actor that i mean god 20 15 years ago i would have said that every time will ferrell comes out with a movie i'm there i'm in i'm sold just because it's will ferrell and i feel like nine times out of ten i was not disappointed and then there hit a point where I don't know if it was Holmes and Watson because uh, I walked out of that movie in the theater. I don't know if it was uh, that Kevin Hart movie he made, Get Hard. I don't really remember it. I just remember not caring for it. I don't know. There just there came a point a few years ago where Will Ferrell was not a slam dunk, where Will Ferrell, just him, was not enough to get me through, especially a comedy. just felt like he wasn't trying as hard. This film, though, I thought he not only what he wasn't too over the top, he wasn't too man child like, right? Like it, it wasn't 
a lot of those things that he goes to a lot, it was more of him just being a guy. He was the ghost of Christmas present. And I felt like not only was it nice for him to have to react to Ryan Reynolds, because Ryan Reynolds was more of the asshole. You saw Will Ferrell trying to be the better guy, the good guy, trying to get Ryan Reynolds to be a better person. So I think that worked for me. And also, they did something really nice with Will Ferrell's character's backstory that I won't give away, but it just it really impressed me. Not just that, we have some of the supporting cast that I really enjoyed. Rose Byrne is only in this movie at the very, very beginning. And, I mean... It's better than no Rose Byrne, but still, I wanted more, goddammit. I want more Rose Byrne in all of my movies. Uh, Tracy Morgan does the voice of Ghost of Christmas Feature, and it's Tracy Morgan's voice. There's, you're never going to get anything different with him. But I did like the way that the Ghost of Christmas uh, Feature looked. Uh, it's the usual big robe and whatnot, but still, because he was so tall and because it looked fairly practical, it still looked creepy, even though I knew the voice was kind of going to ruin it. Also, Octavia Spencer. Okay, so Octavia Spencer plays, like, the assistant to Ryan Reynolds' character. And at first I thought, okay, well, you know, another case where Octavia Spencer is a much better actress, probably should be in a much better position or a better character but you know she'll be regulated to just uh, a side character fine fine whatever and then they did something very interesting with octavia spencer um I, I don't know how i didn't see the trailer for this movie so i don't know how much of that is revealed i'll shy away from talking about it i will just say that what they do with octavia spencer later on and throughout the movie it was very nice and very welcoming. I appreciated how much more she became involved in the story. Also, is this on Apple TV? I say that because, well, I don't have Apple TV. I had to watch this movie in my own ways. But it's just it's so interesting between all of the different streaming services and all of the movies that don't have to come out in theaters anymore. How many of these movies would we not be getting if it was only dependent on theaters, right? How many would we have gotten a Christmas musical type movie with these two big actors? The budget clearly was not cheap. It seemed like they were willing to give this a decent, like it looked really good. The direction of this movie, where this movie ended up, was also very surprising. There was a lot of heart and 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 goodness going on with the story so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna say that spirited i'll give it a, a good date movie so guys let me know in the comments below if you too saw spirited or if you're interested in seeing it thanks for watching like comment subscribe later